Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video. And this is very special because this is my first time answering questions. So this is Q&A episode one. I have answered questions from last week's episode. And I'm going to be doing this every Sunday. So leave all your questions down below and I'll answer that. I think on February 7th is going to be the next Sunday. So I'll be answering all of those. Um, let's start with what Colin has to say. He says, could you make more investing in parting out videos? Those are so interesting and I really like those. I want to get started with Lego investing and I was hoping you could provide me with some information. Sure thing, Colin. Thank you for the comment. So I definitely will be making more investing in parting out videos. They're a lot of fun to make. Uh, I have gotten quite a few recommendations lately. I'm just waiting for some data to be imported into BrickLink, but I will be uh, preparing some of those. Anyways, I'll give you uh, some of the basics of Lego investing. So really, in a lot of ways, it's quite similar to investing in anything else like gold or in the stock market. Maybe you can count it to be a bit less um, complicated. In some ways, it's more complicated, but um, I'll do my best to simplify it for you guys. Lego investing is really just when you put money into Lego and you hope that it's going to go up. Um, a lot of Lego products in the past have gone up two, three times in value. Some have gone 20, 30 times in value. Obviously, the latter is not as common. And sets that go up 20, 30 times in value are only a handful. So don't expect to be making crazy amounts of money. Um, just like with BrickLink, it's not something that you want to do just to make money. It's really one of those things that, oh, I love Lego so much. Why don't I make some money on the side? That's really what it is. Um it is sort of challenging because you don't know which sets are going to go up in value. Um, there are some some small indicators and things that you can research. Uh, that's what I like to talk about here. But um, I will do my best to create a video just on that, just the, the basics of Lego investing. That'll be released some, sometime soon. Um, so I hope I help, Colin. If if you do have any further questions, leave it down below. I'd love to answer that next week. Um, we have two comments from Eric He or Eric Hey. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. So I do apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. I, it's not my intention. Um, <clears throat> so they said, first viewer, <laughs> Yahoo! Amazing vid, by the way. And also you surprised, or sorry, what did I say? Sorry. Also, you surpassed 100,000 views. So thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate the awesome positive support. It's it's really amazing, guys. You guys have such, such positive comments. It always uh, brightens my day. Um, I do appreciate that. Um, now, I, I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce it, but I'll do my best. I think Malachi Lounge or Loons. Uh, do you think Lego will make sets on the Amazon Lord of the Rings series coming up? Uh, and do you think Lego will do sets of all the Disney Plus Star Wars show who's coming? Um, to be honest, I did not even know that Amazon is producing Lord of the Rings. Um, at least that's what I interpret from that series, uh, from that sentence. Do I think Lego will make sets? I probably do, yeah. I mean, seeing the I immense popularity of The Mandalorian, they definitely jumped on that. They made The Child, they made The Razor Crest, and I think they made another set this year. I don't remember the name. Uh, Trouble on Tatooine, I think. Um, Lego is pretty good, obviously, at judging what things are doing popular. And as a, as a company that sells products, they have to <laughs> keep up with that. So I feel like it definitely depends on how successful the Lord of the Rings series is. Uh, I know they have made Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets in the past, and I really wish I had gotten some of those, mainly just for the figures. They seem super cool. Um, as as a YouTuber or someone that might be hold somewhat accountable, I'm going to go with, yeah, I, I feel that they, they will be making sets based on that show. Obviously, if the set or if the show doesn't even get made or it completely bombs, then maybe not. But I, I feel like there's a, there's a decent chance. Um, Jaden asks... Do you like any Lego video games? And if so, which ones? That's an awesome question. I actually talked about this uh, a bit earlier or later, depending on when you're watching this. Um, I, I talked about Lego Dimensions, and that game was so, so much fun. I remember that was like the only time I ever pre-ordered a product. And in retrospect, it was not the best idea because I paid $100 for it. Um, not too long after, it was like 40 bucks because it was not very successful. I, I just was really excited about the idea of a game in which you could combine characters and villains from all these different series, like everything from like Wizard of Oz to like The Simpsons, like things you'd never see would meet normally. Um, that was definitely one of my favorites. I mean, that's a bit more recent. Now to think about it, I think 2016 or 2017 was when it released, so it wasn't that recent. 
Um, I also really enjoyed the Lego Star Wars saga, as I'm sure many of you have as well. Uh, it was so much fun to play as a kid. There were so many levels. And uh, I have spoken about how I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but I still like that game. Um, the Harry Potter game as well was a lot of fun. Honestly, I think I played almost all the Lego video games that there were. Uh, I remember the Indiana Jones game as well. I played that one. It was fun. Um, now to think about it, I think I also tried the Marvel superheroes game. Um, it's really only the recent ones that I haven't played because I haven't been too much into video games in the last couple of years. But uh, yeah, that's really my story. I don't know. If you have any recommendations? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Juan Gabriel Sereno has two questions. Um, have you tried to make Lego mocks based on any anime? And what's the best Lego set to get Technic pins, gears, and Technic axles? Um, so the, the first question, have I ever tried to make any Lego mocks off anime, based off anime? I'll have to tell you, uh, quickly and honestly, I have not really binged or watched any anime seriously. A lot of friends have suggested, uh, Jojo, uh, I think, uh, um, Naruto, um, Dragon Ball Z, but I don't know, I really haven't ever gotten into them. I feel like it's one of those things that you either are interested in or you're not, um, I, I feel that there are quite a few good anime and shows out there, but I've never really found an interest, so I can't say I've made a mock based on one. I think for me to do that, I would probably have to find a show that I'm interested in, so sorry about that. Um, number two, what's the best LEGO set to get Technic pins, gears, and axles? Um, I remember, I think the Bucket Wheel Excavator, I mean, that's an older set. I remember that had a lot of Technic pins and gears. Now, what I want to tell you, Juan, is if you want to get a set just for Technic pins and axles, you're going to spend a lot more money than you want. Um, usually, obviously, the sets that are larger are going to have more axles, and the sets that are smaller are going to have fewer. Thankfully, these pieces tend to be fairly inexpensive on Bricklink. I know specifically just the, uh, the standard axle. Um, I don't know if it's going to come up. Or not the axle. I meant the, the pin. That's definitely like one of the, the cheapest pieces on Bricklink. Let me just pull it up real quick. I know I didn't want to do too much of this. I think this is the one. Um, yeah. So if we look at the price guide on that uh, in the color black. Let's see if it loads. I, I think this is like, look at that. So the average price is a cent. The minimum price is like zero. <laughs> So this goes extremely cheap if you want that in large quantities. To be honest, a lot of these pieces go. I know that um, I, I uh, not everyone uses a BrickLink as much as I do. I Sometimes I don't realize that when I make these videos. So if, I, if I'm going to say just a set you want to buy and get pieces from that, it is obviously going to be a larger set. Um, otherwise, you can also check out shop.lego. I know it doesn't ship to all the countries. I actually received a comment like that. So... Just wanted to put that out there. But uh, yeah, it was so cool reading your comments, guys. I really, really like these kind of videos. I'd love to hear what more things you say. Um, and hopefully I can get to them in the coming week. Thanks again. Leave your comments down below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys and have a great day.